Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum has extended a little bit higher today. We're getting closer to this previous swing high from May and from March. And the resistance um, is getting strong here because these previous swing highs provide some resistance around 3,980 to let's say 4,100. And we also have a Fibonacci level there that we can watch at 3,940. No change to the wave count. We're extending higher as long as we're extending higher. And we're monitoring that on the one hour time frame because we had a small setup. Um, not a very reliable one, but the support area held. So it was a possible one to set up for those who wanted to play it, who wanted to trade it. And as long as we're holding these, you know, the focus can remain on higher in the short term. And we're going to adjust the support area. But once these support levels break on the one hour time frame, and that shouldn't be surprising at this stage when that happens, then it opens the door for this wave four to play out. And wave four should hold 2,713. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you we will go down that much necessarily, but it is going to be support. So that's the critical support, which means this wave four will not become less likely or the upside structure will not become less likely until we break below 2,713, which now means, of course, it's far away. And to be honest, if this really is going to be a way forward, if this interpretation is correct, then um, it shouldn't be that deep. So maybe 2,900, maybe 3,118, okay? Now, this is the daily chart. Overall, what I'd like to see is um, that we see a 4-5 pattern that would be ideal of wave A, then the B wave down and the C wave up. Could more bullish scenarios play out? Absolutely. I mean, it can always keep extending. I mean, this third wave can simply extend and then, we, you know, we might be dealing with maybe something like a WXY and this is a uh, ABC and it just keeps extending a little bit, but that's possible, okay? That's why I'm not going to fight the trend. I'm not going to tell you the fourth wave has started. I can tell you the fourth wave is due. So you're not surprised if support breaks on the smaller time frame, but I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna tell you pullback has started without evidence. You know, it's something that I always try to teach, and also something I've learned over the years that we don't want to fight a trend, right? We can, even though a wave count might be full, as long as the trend is up, as long as corrective pullbacks happen, there is no need to fight the trend. Yeah, so we don't want to, we always want to wait for evidence. Now, this is the micro count. So either it's this wave four, five that's extending, wave five of C of three. That could be because we can easily say that within this wave five, we have an ending diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. And this might have completed wave five of C of three. So be ready for a correction. The support region that I provided in the last update held, and it was a setup, a so-called one-two setup, as you can see here. I will remove it now from the chart. We don't need it. I've communicated earlier today on Discord already the next one-two setup. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, the wave count in white is full, but yellow allows for upside extensions. And as long as we don't break below this, at least this micro support, we shouldn't even think about the top is in, right? Um, micro support is located between 3580 and 3740 and this is a, a pullback that could occur uh, into this area and might be another one two setup and then we can uh, you know more aggressively trend higher yeah and uh, you know th that's just that's just one of the wave counts it's, it's just a bit messy i mean I, I don't i'm not entirely sure how this would be integrated in the bigger picture, I can imagine something like that this is an A wave, this might be a B wave, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, and then we, you know, um, but yeah, it's a bit messy, obviously, but we know it's messy. It's, it's this entire base was corrective, as you know, all of these overlaps there everything three wave like it's it's just a large diagonal pattern and these can always morph but i want to tell you about opportunities when i see them right especially as ethereum is due to start moving at some point here and there is an opportunity okay there was one yesterday and it worked and you can use the next one if you like to but i also mentioned this is more relevant now for anybody who's just trading the shorter time frame 
because this can easily, if it breaks, you know, we're likely heading for the lower support area. If the market makes this available, I mean, that would be an opportunity. And I will have to adjust it here on this time frame as well, based on the latest high. So I think tomorrow we know more. The main question is, is this, is this ending something, this five wave move, or do we, do we have a one, two, one, two, one, two? But after three, one, two setups, it should, it should go. It should aggressively break out because at some point it just gets too choppy and then it usually breaks down. It's like a house of cards. Okay, that's the update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.